As the world population continues to grow and is expected to reach 10.9 billion people by 2100, the issue of transportation within massive urban areas is increasingly becoming an issue. Many are looking to new modes of transportation, like intercity VTOLs or maglev trains. But one company believes that a redesign of the entire structure of a city is in order. This idea came from Saudi Arabian company Neom, which is a multifaceted project to create a futuristic and completely carbon neutral city. Such a city will include several technological advancements, such as a powerful desalination plant, which is already producing 50,000 meters cubed of fresh water per day. Though the most striking feature of the city is its layout. Instead of a traditional two-dimensional layout with streets and avenues, the line, as Neom has coined it, will have one main street that will only be for pedestrians. This one-dimensional layout promises a five-minute walk to any destination, with high-speed transport running beneath the city. Today we will be focusing our attention on how the city solves transportation issues, though I'm sure we will also revisit the line city in the future. Creating a city in a single line has many advantages when it comes to transportation. A centralized high-speed transportation system that runs the length of the city is possible and is what is proposed in Neom. Something similar to Elon's Hyperloop is what is proposed along the 170 km stretch of city. Traveling at nearly the speed of sound and including the 0.3 g acceleration time, a trip across the entire town would take about 11 minutes. Though it is planned for the city to have four central stops, meaning a trip across the entire length of the city would probably take closer to 20 minutes, much better than the hour to hour and a half to get across most cities. For those of you who don't know, a hyperloop is an ultra high speed mode of transportation revitalized when Elon Musk mentioned it in 2013. It involves a low pressure tube that a pod can travel through, propelled via magnetic levitation near the speed of sound. The low pressure tubes substantially reduce air resistance, increasing efficiency. While it is a cool concept, is creating such a fast mode of transportation feasible? Commercial jet planes travel at speeds above 800 km per hour, not quite at the speed of the Hyperloop is proposed to travel at, around 1150 km per hour. However, more importantly, the acceleration of a standard plane is about 2 meters per second squared, whereas the acceleration in the Hyperloop is proposed to be about 3 meters per second squared, still very manageable for humans. But what is the capacity like? Current estimates of the Hyperloop predict it will be able to carry about 3,400 people per hour. About 75% of the population in America uses a car daily to commute to work. The engineering of Neom will likely half that number, but with an expected total population of 1 million people, that still amounts for about 400,000 people per day. Assuming those people are evenly spread throughout the day, it would take about five hyperloops to make such a project feasible. The idea of creating a super futuristic city where commutes are no more than 20 minutes is intriguing, but won't come without challenges. However, work on the line has already begun with the aforementioned desalination plant and an airport already being constructed. It will likely be decades before such a utopia is finished and I personally cannot wait to see the results. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, subscribe to help out the channel, and I'll see you all soon with a brand new video.